We are the Will Austin Band, and we're on Denver Loft Sessions right here and right now. Well, 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 well. Fort Wayne, Indiana, and I play bass guitar. I'm Robin Garcia. I'm from Corpus Christi, Texas. And I play saxophone, keyboards, and uh, harmonica, flute. I'm Stu Stodoff from Riverside, Connecticut. I play guitar. Tom Sandquist. I'm from Denver, and I play piano. William Skip Lynch. I'm from Stockton, California, and I play drums and percussion. 
I'm Will Austin. Uh, I'm from Washington, D.C., and uh, I'm the lead vocalist. Well, I grew up in a musical household. My mother was a recording artist. Her name was Katie Love. So we always had music, rehearsals, bands around the household, along with my little sister, Cheryl Renee. When I was like four years old, my father took me to church, and uh, the organ player started playing, and she, she was playing this song, and I heard this. And I was looking around, see what that was. And I looked down, and people were patting their feet. So I crawled up beneath the bench, and I seen everybody in church patting their feet together. I was like, wow, that's amazing. Very first experience was um, I heard music through the Denver Public Schools, and so it was very interesting. I uh, it was one of the junior high bands, junior high. I guess I'm showing my age, but they came down to our school, and it was it was invigorating. What really got me going is. When I was uh, 12 or 13, there was a party in the house next door and they had a band playing and the kids were going nuts. And I said, that's for me. <laughs> when I was in middle school, I heard the, uh, the Lionel Hampton Big Band and I was hooked. Probably as a kid, my, my father's brothers, a couple of his brothers, they had a gospel singing group that did kind of the northern swing up and down North Carolina and Richmond, and so we had to tag along, so it was kind of hard not for a lot of that stuff to get in. My Uncle George, he still is performing right now and has an amazing baritone voice that uh, that's where I get it from, actually. <laughs> I did a concert uh, that really was about the spirituals according to jazz and really took a bunch of the old spirituals and gave them kind of some jazzy takes on them, Wade in the Water, Motherless Child. But Joshua was one that really kind of became a signature song for me. I don't think I've done a gig that I haven't performed that song and I performed it with other groups and that sort of thing. So uh, it's probably uh, that song, Joshua. Jericho, oh Jericho, said Joshua. 
practice a lot because chops mean everything. I've seen guys with a million dollar kit and a 50 cent groove, you know what I mean? So it's important, uh, no matter what your kit or your instrument is, to have very good chops. If you enjoy the arts, which are a big part of civic life, then stay informed on other civic things by watching award-winning local TV programs and city council meetings live and on demand every day on Denver 8 TV. Denver music fans know how lucky we are to have the world-class concert venue, Red Rocks, right in our backyard. This season's concert schedule is filling up fast, so check online for when your favorite artists will be playing. Many of the same production pros that bring you the Denver Loft Sessions also produce another great show on Denver 8 TV, Red Rocks Premieres. Go online for more information and schedules for both shows, and be sure to check us out on Facebook and YouTube. So whether you're enjoying your favorite music outside at the Rocks, or on your couch with Denver 8 TV, we'll keep you rocking all year long. I think it brings uh, the improv and uh, brings out the, the flavor of, this, of the music, definitely. And so I, I feel the music with my sax. The song uh, Sunshine, it was written for me, for my wife, for her 60th birthday. Uh, he said, I wanted to gift it to her for her birthday and then you can do with it what you want. And so I got with some, some guys and we kind of came up with the bossa nova kind of group too and it really turned out to be more my style and so uh, it really turned out to be a great song.
I think it's strong, um, and I'm impressed that so many musicians are thriving here or working at thriving here. It's, it's an amazing place to be. I think it's real good. 
I, I think it's real, real good. There's a lot of symphony stuff, um, and there's also a decent amount of jazz clubs where you can play what you want to play. I bought the theme to The Exorcist. <laughs> Because I used to love that song. I, I did when I was a kid, yeah. When you're at Red Rocks for a hike or a concert, did you know you can do your part to keep one of Denver's favorite parks clean? Friends of Red Rocks is a large volunteer organization that cleans up the park monthly and during shows. They do their cleanup thing on the last Saturday of each month and meet in the south lot. Go online for more info. And remember, when you're at the Rocks this year, partying at Shakedown Street in the south lot or tossing a football and bumping the base in the north, please pick up after yourself. joke Drake <laughs> I believe it would be uh, Rob Lowell because <laughs> he does play sax in one movie um, Christopher Pratt me I play me <laughs> other than Skip Lynch uh, I would probably say I would pro I would I would like Idris Elba is who I would say. That's maybe that's wishful thinking. <laughs> Good answer.
dancing swiftly Oh, the joy I have At the utterance of such a simple phrase When she says she loves me Oh, when she says she needs me Those little words they mean the world to me when she says my name. Mm-hmm. When she says my name. Yeah. When she says my name. Six-foot Joe and the Rhino soup up that old rock and roll beat with a fat horn sound to deliver a fun and energetic show. Don't miss Six-foot Joe and the Red Hot Rhinos on the next Denver Loft Sessions. <laughs> 